Cantilever slabs are most commonly used in buildings and then when it comes to lintel level we will be having the sajja projection so for that also we need to provide a cantilever slab so that will be cantilevered from beam if it is a framed structure or it will be cantilever from a wall if it is a load bearing structure hey friends welcome back to civil engineering mastery in this video we are going to discuss about how do we provide proper support to the cantilever slab if it is a framed structure and how do we support the cantilever slab if it is a load bearing structure and let's discuss what are all the major factors we need to consider in order to avoid the any damage of this kind of cantilever slabs first let me tell you what is cantilever slab so if you look into the framing plan see here we have the cantilever slab so this extra projection is cantilevered from this beam it is a framed structure so we have the cantilever slab like this and we need to provide the proper support for this so now this cantilever slab is getting the support from the beams the beams are connected to the columns so cantilever means one end it will be supported and other end it will be free let's take this cantilever slab if we draw the section it looks like this so this is the support and here is the projection slab projection since it is a framed structure the beam is the support beam is connected to the column because of this cantilever moment we will be getting the torsion we need to design this cantilever slab for w l square divided by 2 this is the cantilever moment so for this moment we need to design the cantilever slab so due to this moment what happens you will be getting the torsion in this junction you will be getting torsion in this junction beam and slab junction so you have to design this beam for torsion so if it is a framed structure you have to design the beam for torsion when the cantilever slab is supported by the beam let's recall once again so when it is a framed structure the cantilever slab needs to be supported by the beam it has to be designed for the moment w l square by 2 so due to this moment torsion will be created in this junction and this beam has to be designed in order to take care of this torsion so this is for framed structure next let's look into the load bearing structure when it comes to load bearing structure how do we support the cantilever slab when it comes to load bearing structure these kind of columns will not be there so the slab projection needs to be taken from the wall here you will be having the wall so the slab needs to be supported from the wall in that case what happens let's make this one as a wall so now this is the wall which is supporting this cantilever slab so in this case what we have to do is similarly we need to design this slab for the same moment w l square by 2 but this is not a restraint in a framed structure it is a restraint since it is connected to the beam and the beam is connected to the column here the slab is directly supported on the wall so this is not restraint this is not stable so due to this what happens you will be getting the overturning moment since it is not stable it will overturn so in order to avoid this what you have to do you need to provide the support over here the anyway for the cantilever slab you will be providing the props right so in order to avoid this you need to remove the shuttering after constructing the wall above the cantilever slab so you will be having the wall over here you need to construct this wall and then you need to remove the shuttering whichever you are providing for this cantilever slab so that time what happens this is fully packed cantilever slab will not tend to create the overturning moment so here in load bearing structure this shuttering has to be removed once this wall top of the wall has been constructed after that you can remove the shuttering in order to avoid this overturning moment next let's check the same thing for the sajja projection if you take the framed structure similarly what we have discussed here in the same way the lintel beam will be provided and this will be connected to the column and then we can take the projection sajja projection so here there will not be any problem and uh, if you check the torsional moment if it is more you can design this beam for torsion since it is a restraint you will be getting the torsional moment over here 
when you take the same case for load bearing structure what happens here you will be providing the lintel beam so below you will be having like this you have the lintel beam below there is a wall and then you have the sajja projection so here this wall is the support for this lintel beam since it is not restrained it is not connected to column so this lintel beam is resting over the wall so in this case what will happen you will be getting the overturning moment as i said before so here also you will get the overturning moment and here there will not be torsion since it is not restrained you will not get any torsion over here even if you design this beam for torsion it will not be stable so here what you have to do after lintel level you have to provide the wall anyway lintel level will be provided at 7 feet height and then above that you have to provide wall of 3 feet height so that wall needs to be constructed and then if you look into this this is packed now there will not be any chance of overturning of this beam so here also you need to provide the support shuttering support for this slab so that support has to be removed once this wall has been constructed so after construction of this wall only you have to remove the support so that this cantilever moment will not create any overturning in this beam so that this will be safe so friends these are all the major things we need to consider while constructing the cantilever slab even if you are a structural engineer you need to instruct the site people if they are constructing a load bearing structure they need to remove the shuttering only after construction of the wall above the cantilever slab i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you really like the content kindly share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching